Hey friend, this is Anil and in this video, we will learn how we can add, update and delete item from Gridview. Okay, so here you can see I have already created this application and for demo purpose, I only using this application but in this video, we will learn from scratch everything step by step. So here you can see if I will add a skill, then uh, just click on the this drop down and click on this drop down for experience and click on the red. So basically what I have did uh, once I will click on this item then here you can see the third item has been added over here. So these all are the skills and experience according to the skills and rate uh, as per the skills and here you can see if I will click on the edit button then from here you can see I can update this item okay and if I want I can delete the skills also okay so just click on this delete talk icon the skill has been deleted over here okay and in the upper section you can see here is the image and this image uh, how I have banned it, I will let you know in my later on video and how I have created this interface, everything I will discuss later on the video. Okay, so in this video, only we will learn how we can bind this grid view and how we can just uh, uh, do the edit and update uh, button over here. The functionality for edit skill, add skill and delete skill one by one in next video, I will let you know. Okay, so let's move on the Visual Studio. Minimize this screen. So here, I have created a blank application. So in this application, you can see I have not added anything or any plugin. So here, first uh, go on main page dot uh, expx on and the main page I will add a grid view. Okay, so we have already added a stack layout. So I will add a grid view. just add a grid view over here and okay so we can run this application also so we can check the functionality step by step what we are doing and what we are getting the output okay and here you can see we have defined uh, defined the four uh, four, uh, four row and in first sorry I will add a label so that label will uh, display as user profile and in the second row this is the zero row and this is the one row row number one in that we have added a button using this we can add the skills okay and again we have to create a grid view because this is the layout this layout you can see is in different grid view and the below layout is in different grid view so again i'm going to add a grid so the application is running so our application has been successfully built and here you can see the user profile and add a skill button added over here okay so I'll just reduce the size of my application so that design also the output also we can look over here. Cool. Okay. So now in the second grid view here you can see we have to add a second grid view and in the second grid view what we have to do we will this is the grid view row one and this is the second grid view yeah so this is the second grid view and in the second grid view what we have to do i will just close this grid view Okay, so in this, what we have to do, we will add 
फोर हेडर्स Yep. So here you can see skill name, experience, rate, edit, and delete buttons are coming as expected. We will uh, look uh, later on about the design. Okay. So now in the second option, I'm going to just create a box view. So what that box view will do? The box view will create a line uh, over here. Okay. So let's come up with the design letter and inside this I will add a list view. So what that list view will do in this list view we will add the items. Okay. So here you can see I have created this box view and here you can see the list view. Okay, so in list view list dot item template, I have created uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows, sorry, five columns, and here I have divide, uh, I have banded service name, experience, and daily rate. So these all are the labels, and these both two are the images. Okay, so let's move on binding part of this application how we can bind our application how we can bind our list view okay so for list view first we have to create a view model folder over here so i have to stop this application view model and one more folder we have to create for model okay so in this view model we have to first create a class in the model okay and here will be few properties service ID, service name, experience and delete it. Okay. Now we have to add a skill view mod, uh, model. So let's create a view model. Add the view model and create a object over here. for a skill list fine and user skill list cannot directly contains members such as property okay i'm putting it's in wrong place fine so now here we are going to create a constructor so in this constructor we are adding few uh, items so in this items we are add, added a few services software engineer hr technical engineering and electrical engineer and here you can see the daily rate and here is the experience okay so we have created the this user uh, skill list now this user skill list we have to bind in our application okay so for that go in mainpage.xml and here add a namespace here you can see we have added a namespace for grid view dot view model and this is our skill binding model you can see this is our skill binding model fine now see this application and uh, here we are getting a error Fine. now run this application again
so here you can see we are getting the result skill name and experience and rate and here you can see edit and delete button over here so for that what we have to do we have to add two images over here so let's copy and paste the images and paste over here stop this application okay so you are suspecting how the grid view is binding so here you can see uh, in item source i have created the is user skill list and the same user skill list you can see i have created over here user skill list and the property service name daily rates and experience i have binded over here service name experience and daily rate okay so these three text are rendering uh, in in a single row in a uh, view cell okay so let's run this application again and here you can see in image edit i have already put it source equals to edit.png and source equals to remove.png so both images i have added over here edit and remove let's run this application again and see the output So edit and delete images are still not coming. What we have to do? Edit and remove dot PNG. So what is the problem? Yeah. So we have put it uh, in wrong category actually with the images. So let's cut these images and paste in drawable okay let's run this application again so here you can see the images are coming as expected so uh, as we are getting the expected result here you can see user profile and add skill button right now we have not added any uh, event handler over here and on this image also and here you can see we have to do some formatting in this grid view so for formatting what we can do we can use a few resources like for styles so for styles i will add a content page dot resources so just go over here and add some resources so here you can see style header tab uh, tablet and uh, here we are setting the text color, font attribute, background color, vertical text alignment and horizontal text alignment. And this is for property of detail tables. So these all property we have defined already. If you can see over here, here you can see the styles for the header, header tablet. Okay. And here you can see uh, in the list view we have defined the styles for detailed tablet okay so let's come on this application and see just press the control s or save this application automatic you can see the changes okay so here you can see we are getting the result as expected so in my next video, I will let you know how we can add the skills over here and in next video, I will let you know how we can add it and delete uh, these uh, list view. Okay, this grid view. So I hope you like this video and if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.